I'm going to show you what ports to open on the UVerse um, 2 wire 3800HDV-B gateway because a lot of people are saying they have a hard time figuring, configuring the ports and actually it was a pain in the butt and I finally called the tech support tier 1 they didn't know how it was kind of funny so I kept on working on it for about two weeks and I finally figured it out so I thought I'd share my um, finds here um, you might as well do this view details so you can see how each thing is configured pretty simple um, and I'm going to go to firewall settings I'm going to be removing this stuff And I'm going to edit or delete it and for this I'm going to edit just to show you you just put select TTP and then port 83 and you hit add definition remember you don't you don't pick a application type you leave it to non default and then you do TCP put a dot in the little circle there and then you put, type in port 83 and you hit add definition it will automatically put a 83 there for you or if you do it this way it'll do it that way either and then you hit add definition and it'll put it down here just like this and then you hit back and then I'm gonna go back to edit same goes for this show you what the, they look like right here same goes for that. You can you also type in the name of the application and then TCP and then you, uh, I typically use this because it's a really kind of an awkward port that they don't use and it works really fabulous. I can download probably two to three meg download on BitTorrent, which I've never seen anybody else do that ever. Um, and then uh, pretty much these port numbers are good port numbers to use and then same thing you put dot in here UDP put a uh, put the port number in there and then put add definition application type non default leave it the same and then hit back and go to edit and Ventrilo is the one I was wanting everybody to, to see because I was trying to figure it out myself. Basically, you do Vent, vent Server 1, TCP, you put 3784, it'll automatically put it in the next, the next white box. So all you have to do is hit Add Definition, it'll show up just like this. And then it'll automatically make this. And then UDP, you put the number in here. Actually, you can put the number in here. It automatically add it, and you click add. Remember, application type non default. Don't change it. You just all you gotta do is click add definition, and UDP, and it'll have the port numbers here. Then click back, and edit. Ventrilo is what you put for the client, so the client will work. You put a dot in the circle TCP and put and you put 3784 and you hit add definition. Remember application type non default. Don't change it. And then make sure you hit add definition. It shows up down here. And then hit back. And then you select whatever PC you want it to the ports to be open and here's my HFS and edit that basically it's real easy make sure no little dot in the circle TCP 
put uh, put a uh, port 83 and then hit add definition then put a little circle a little dot in the circle UDP put 83 and then hit add definition then go back and then make sure you select the PC that you want to open the ports on and since I already have them all configured already I'm just hit add 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 and if you have a server you hit server and you would put like for Uh, remote desktop it's already in there but you have to do XP remote desktop and XP remote assistance or it won't work and then all applications I uh, already have the other server in there, so that's all you gotta do is they're pretty much as soon as you click done, they're open. And then the remote desktop, vent, they're all open, that's it. That's my tutorial for today. Hopefully it'll help some of you.